Anyhow, we're, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe 22, 23, 4 miles up from Grant's. Go, go. Come on, go. And I just want to do a little recap. Uh, uh, it's beautiful in here for, for starters. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful trail. They're the best we've had uh, by far. We're really well marked. My little trooper did. Even still in it, uh, was able to get us off trail for, for a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yesterday went well. I mean, we were, we were real fatigued. I don't know what the deal. We're fatigued to days. Five days With off. all this beauty, you could, I don't know, maybe the five days off. I don't know. We'll get it though. But uh, as far as I go, my injury that I discussed on the last video, doing pretty good. I mean, there's pain, but I can walk, I can hike, and that's all I really really want it so that chance to keep going and things are going well I feel pretty good right now I just uh, sugars are starting to starting to normalize a little still a little high but uh, they're starting to come down so I'll start adjusting my basal rate and hopefully get to eating good again there you go girl but uh, yeah so we're happy we just can't get our strength. I don't know what the deal is there. We uh, were just about 9,800 feet. Uh, the Taylor route cuts off to the to the right a while back there. And, uh, got snowed on again last night. Nothing heavy, but uh, just a little bit. Really makes it pretty in here though. Just want to shoot a little video as we're walking through. I haven't done a whole lot as we're walking. But the New Mexico has not left us without being challenged. I mean, it's been a challenging state. Jeez. Now, we still got a ways to go. But uh, it's been beautiful. I think in some ways way prettier than I had anticipated it being. I've hiked in New Mexico, but not to this extent. But I really liked it. And we're kind of coming down now, and so the snow is is uh, starting to dissipate a little bit as we drop in altitude here. But then we're going to climb back up. I don't know if it's maybe 95, 6, 96 hundred feet, and that. I think that'll be the high for the, the you know, that'll be the, the last time we're at that altitude for the rest of the day, I think. Just looking at my maps. And there is a hiker in front of us. Not too far, I don't imagine, but there's just prints. Got a good sized foot. 12, 13, I'd say. Wow, this is nice. Okay, so. Our goal today, due, due to water, and even though there's a lot of moisture out here, we're still always concerned with water. But I can't think of the name of the little water source we're trying to get to, but it's still a ways ahead. I, we'd have to do like a 26 today, and that's what we're, our goal is, but <laughs> I don't know the way we're going right now. What do you think? Think we're going to make it? I think we could make it. Willow says, I can make it, no trouble. And Willow's helping out with a little pack today, which is it's very appreciated by me. It's a very, very beautiful day. So we have a lot of daylight left when we've been getting in camp. Well, but we made the right day was yeah. We made the right choice yesterday because we'd already done 20 miles from where we were, 20, a little over 20 from where we were at the hotel, and there happened to be a, some buddies left some water out for us. You know, not just for us, but for hikers and. Uh, Unexpectedly. A few more miles ahead, two more miles ahead was an actual possible cache by the mums, uh, Carol and Hugo mum, but uh, so we decided to just take advantage of that water and we camped maybe a half a mile further instead of going all the way like we were going to. And I'm glad we did because when we got there that water was dead empty. There was no water. Isn't it cool to it up there?
Alrighty, good morning. Team Ford is here. May 18th. that we had last night. We uh, camped right over there. Uh, at the top of that, that's all volcanic rock. Down here you get all the sedimentary sandstones and it's quite amazing uh, place. And we got dumped, we got our tent up as it was raining. Here comes Trooper right down there. We got dumped on last night. We got our tent up just in time, I mean. Uh, we planned on going a couple miles further, but the water was pretty... It wasn't questionable water. It was just really silty, and it took us a long time to gather the water. Some cows over there. Coming down, and here to get a little drink, I think. But, uh, here comes Trooper. But, you know, we stayed dry, but it was questionable. We have a broke tent. One of our fly clips that clips the fly to the main tent body is broke. Uh, actually an animal chewed it off, <laughs> an animal chewed it off, and, uh, thank you, Bo. and, uh, somebody lost the clip to it. It was working fine, but now the clip is gone. I don't, I don't know who that person Willow. is. Who's the, cl the yeah, yeah, it was Willow. Uh, so we were a little worried because we got a bobby pin holding it, bobby pin, safety pin safety pin holding it together and the winds were quite heavy but as you can see everything's good we're packed up we're muddy it's muddy in here but I take it these are like old volcanic almost like vents because you can see them on the top they're kind of scattered throughout here and it's all volcanic rock around them. that's what I'm taking the air but the sun's starting to peak out uh, I think it's gonna be a beautiful day are oh, you us? Well, I know Willow thinks it's going to be a beautiful day. She thinks every day is beautiful. <laughs> every day they were not on road. I know, it's nice. It's Isn't it beautiful? It's yeah. One of the most beautiful places we've been in New Mexico for sure. Yeah, it's, just, it's really wild. I, I keep waiting for the Indians to come charging down from the plateaus. <laughs> but it's amazing. We came down from up there. Well, there was, there was quite a bit of volcanic rock up there as well. 
lots of sandstones, just beautiful, really beautiful. Uh, so we're gonna get marching on. We try to get some good miles in today. So either way we look at, it, we got two pretty decent days to get into town. Tomorrow's town day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we've earned it, but we're Sometimes trying. Sometimes we can't ever remember dates or days, but we can remember when it's a town day. As you can see, this is beautiful. They're all scattered around in here. But there you have it. All righty. Our first stream crossing, all the water last night. I imagine this is normally dry. Here comes the trooper. <laughs> it's just a slick bottom, you know. And <laughs> she don't go. What you got yourself? Really, really cold water. Yeah. What are you doing, girl? So there you have it. I don't imagine this would be here, but we got a lot of rain last night. So there you have it. That's where we're going up there. Will or not yet, girl, we gotta get our socks on. And our shoes. But it's hard going because it's mud. So what you have here is it's got like a floodplain all through here in a sense. So all the silty, fine clay materials come to the top. Good girl. And uh, they just stick to you. You got like 10 pound shoes. Anything you want to say? My feet are frozen. I was surprised it was that cold. Yeah, it's cold. It felt good on my feet. I think I liked it, but it was numbing. lunch spot.
for shelter. I saw you so clearly, and I see you now. You have to allow for something.